In the list of the fruit of the Spirit in Galatians 5 verses 22 and 23, from an initial glance, it may seem that there is a bit of redundancy because we find the words kindness and goodness. And so oftentimes in our vernacular vocabulary today, these words are ones that are often used interchangeably. But whenever we look more deeply at the meaning of the Greek terms that are used in this passage, we find that this word goodness actually indicates a more zealous activity, a pursuit of doing good, whereas kindness and gentleness are more passive and though similar in nature, they don't always, uh, they're not always similar in expression. Another way that we may say it, goodness is not excellence of character, but rather one's character being energized into an active expression of doing good. By taking the stance of a narrower view rather than the broader English view, goodness can be seen in the sharpness of one's actions or their words, even in a rebuke when... Uh, which when given and received in the proper manner would produce goodness in others. Take, for instance, Christ in cleansing the temple, an act of rightness and goodness desired to achieve an effect, whereas Christ showed kindness and mercy to the woman caught in the act of adultery. Well, in this example, the sharp contrast can be seen between the two actions, and yet each was designed to achieve a similar result. We see goodness is seen in actions of kindness, empathy, and service, while at the same time, as we've discussed, it can be revealed through a rebuke, correction, exhortation, or instruction. The outcome and the manner define the goodness of the action. Expressions of goodness, therefore, therefore are as creative as the Spirit allows them to be when tempered with the other fruit of the Spirit. This Creativeness is reflected in the examples found in the scriptures. Consider on one hand the actions of Paul as he withstood Peter to his face regarding the treatment of Gentiles, as we read in Galatians 2, verses 11 through 14. But Dorcas, on the other hand, was one who was defined by the lives that she touched with her goodness, this being expressed through love and through the simple things that she did in life, Acts 9, verses 36 through 43. We also think about Cornelius and Philemon. Both of these are introduced and defined by their goodness when they're presented to us in the scriptures. But goodness is something that man in and of himself cannot manufacture on his own. For we find that every good thing given and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights, James 1.17. It is part of man as our nature is from God, but it has to be taught to be formed and molded, and it has to be seen in our actions. The one who possesses goodness will be selfless in action for other people. Unfortunately, both selflessness and selfishness struggle for control within our minds and our bodies while we're children. And it's only through teaching and direction that one will overcome the other. And once selflessness is positioned, then goodness can be demonstrated in a variety of ways, from confronting someone in sin to providing for someone in need. It's simply knowing people the way that God knows people, and learning to share with them both joy and peace. It's the opening of our heart when one is suffering, weeping in times of sorrow, moving forward with a gentle perseverance when the road is rugged and steep before us. You know, we think about so many in life that have faced countless struggles. And so many of those that we meet that we consider to be truly good people, we see that they have faced a wide variety of struggles and hardships in their life. But they've not allowed those things to hold them back, to change the goodness of their character. But yet, when they look at those things that they endure, they realize that God is the one that has carried them through. 
and the kindness that God has extended to them, the goodness that we see in the character of God, his forgiving nature, and his willingness to stand by his children is something that we strive to emulate. And so, yes, in the things that we do in this life, we try to display the fruit of goodness. Friends, we thank you for joining us for our program today. And may God bless you with a wonderful day.